Hello everybody, uh, it's uh, November the 10th, 2016. I just want to shoot a, uh, a short little video uh, showing my progress. I just finished, I'm just about done with my uh, greenhouse, but I wanted to start first with the uh, current temperature here in El Paso, Texas. 63 degrees and it's 41% uh, humidity. Uh, now I'll pause and take you outside. All right, so uh, here it is. It's uh, it's got a few more things to finish, but it's about 95% done, I would say. Uh, basically, it's a uh, eight foot tall and 10 by 10. I made it out of uh, had a bunch of spare uh, galvanized uh, pipe. It was left over from a project uh, that my company had. Uh, it's been a few years back. I've been saving it for to use it for something and uh, this is what it is. I went and bought uh, some uh, poly, uh, three mil poly. It was uh, made specifically for greenhouses. Uh, it's supposed to have a four year warranty uh, and UV resistant. So. This is what it is from uh, the outside, you know, not much to look at, but it is on a concrete slab. So let me pause and I'll, well, let me take you to where you get in and out. I've been trying to figure out how it was going to do this and construction, we use these, they're called zip walls and it's a zip door. It's in order to keep the dust out when you're working inside. So I decided to order one of these since I couldn't find any here at our local Lowe's so I got this on Amazon as well and uh, you know, it's made for construction sites so these always worked pretty well for us when we used them on job sites and uh, basically you just unzip it and I've moved almost all my plants inside uh, probably still need to arrange them um, but I got a little walkway here and you know here I got my tomatoes there's my poblano plant my habanero they're still giving lots of peppers every day I got another tomato plant here. I've got about half a dozen jalapeno plants. Uh, I've got a couple of uh, Japanese Ichiban eggplants. I think these here are pear tree plants that popped up. And I, 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 I was kind of worried because I thought they had died, but it seems like they're greening up now. Uh, same with these guys because we, we got hit with. A little bit of cold but uh, already I'm getting some new leaves popping up out of these these are cayenne peppers by the way and here's my uh, Serrano which is, just keeps on producing this this has probably been my best producer this year and as you can see there's a, a random lettuce plant that popped up there uh, this here is gonna be my third crop of carrots this year um, I really love the way the carrots have been coming out so I just planted these uh, about three weeks ago and so here we are again I brought my composter in here uh, I figure this will help keep this warm when, once we have a few less sunny days and uh, the humidity in here will also help to continue the compost from uh, going dormant for the winter um, here's an asparagus plant that's still been chugging along I actually started this in my aquaponics but it seems to be doing much better uh, since I moved it into a a, a a grow bag there's another Ichiban uh, eggplant and uh, I thought these had died. These are some spinach plants. 
but they seem to be bouncing back uh, and here I've got uh, I just had a few carrot seeds left but uh, what I'm growing in here is actually some potatoes and uh, these things have they really seem to like the change because uh, they just this is probably three days maybe five days growth they just popped up out of nowhere I didn't think that they were going to make it uh, my poblano is still doing really well and this is what I'm really happy about here so I've been I've, I've just finally got to try these for the first time um, they're really good they're taro root uh, to use in lieu of potatoes uh, and they're, they're they taste great they're fantastic and since I'm a diabetic I just decided to try to grow some so I kept a couple that looked like they were getting ready to pop up and here we go this plant really seems to like the uh, being in here uh, and to show you here's the, the difference as here you are inside and uh, 81 degrees in here 49 percent humidity Um, I mean, I'm in, in here right now. I'm actually uh, just getting a little sweat going. You know, I got plenty of room to move around. I can probably even hang some plants in here if need be. So I, I've got uh, some more work to do. I uh, had put this in to uh, water everything. I'm still going to make some changes because this is actually hooked up to my uh, sprinkler system which I'm obviously I'm not going to be running all winter long so I'm going to reconnect that to a different system put it on, on a timer and uh, you know I, I still got some things to figure out but uh, uh, that that's I'm going to have something like that I might move it up higher in order to get a better coverage in here it's funny because I've got condensation at the top. It's starting to cool down today, so I'm starting to get some condensation and getting random uh, raindrops falling on me in here. But uh, yeah, just wanted to do a quick little video. Now I'll keep this updated as things go. And and uh, we did get some wind a few days back, and so far it's has stood up. So I'm I'm really happy about that. But it gets really windy out here in West Texas so uh, oh also this is my my worm farm that I brought in here nothing fancy uh, but the worms are doing their job they're grinding this down and what I plan on doing is I brought them in here they, they I don't want them to freeze over the winter and since it's, it is pretty humid in here hopefully they'll like it I don't expect it'll stay this warm in here all winter, but as long as it doesn't drop below, let's say 60, I'll be happy. I figure the worm compost I get out of here, I'll throw it back into the composter and throw some of this in here and vice versa until next spring. Or I can use this as, as a fertilizer, supplement these plants throughout the winter. So, like I said, I'll keep you all updated. Uh, but just wanted to do a quick video and like I said, I just barely finished so I know it looks pretty rough, but It's still pretty nice to have uh, some greeny greenery growing here at the beginning of November and uh, You know have some warmth and uh, Some humidity because we have some pretty dry uh, winters here in West Texas All right, well appreciate you looking and uh, popping in for for a visit uh, if you have any questions or comments please leave them and if you like it uh, please subscribe tell other people about the video and uh, I'll try to get some more videos I, I know it's been a while since I hit put one out so I'm gonna try to be a little bit uh, have them a little bit more frequent and hopefully I'll have a lot more to show you uh, like we got some tomato flowers already on that one that tomato and I chopped that tomato plant back so she's doing really well so anyways uh, we'll talk to you all you know talk to you all later and uh, uh, happy growing even though it's uh, winter here in the northern hemisphere all right